Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, this video is gonna be on me making my Aria drawstring method for big t shirts or like big hoodies or anything like a big top, basically. Um, if you are to use this method, I would like you and I really appreciate it if you tag me or at me or anything. Like, you know, if you use it, tag me. I've never seen anyone with this, I've never seen anyone do this, and like, I would really like to have something of my own. And you know, I, I just never seen it before, so I feel in my heart that I created this kind of, that makes sense, like, I mean, it's not that deep, but I would like to have something on my own. So the reason I made these shirts or like drawstring my shirts is because I don't like big shirts or anything hanging over my butt. Um, it just feels weird to me and also like it looks kind of tacky when it's like flared out. I love baggy clothes, but I don't like when it looks tacky, you know, and now it looks put together. It looks neater. It's just like, a, it just looks better and it's cute. What is he doing? Can somebody please explain why dogs do this? Like he does this all the time. What does that mean? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so please keep watching. I have practice, so this feels rushed. If it's rushed, I'm sorry. I have practice and I, I'm missing it and I didn't know I had practice today. So, yeah, I had to make this before. But, um, again, if you watch this video and you end up making a shirt similar to mine or actually doing the method or whatever it's called, then please at me, please tag me, please just think of me. <laughs> that would be really appreciated. I don't understand, anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Basically, I want the string to be on the side because it's not cute in the front. So I find the side of the string in the front. And I basically just, let me just show you how. And I have shorts on, by the way. They're volleyball shorts, so don't act like I'm naked because I'm not. You only snip to right, ooh, come on now. Okay, you only snip to right here. You don't want to cut the thread right here okay Whew. I miss my voice y'all that's all I can do I'm gonna snip Ooh, let me find it again I lost it make sure you don't cut that thread oh I forgot you need a bobby pin as well so to make this easier instead of like using your fingers you loop you put the bobby pin Get away from the scissors. No. My love. Okay. Like this. You take the shirt wherever you slit it. I know I look busted. Like, don't judge me, okay? <laughs> and you put it through like this. It might be hard to put it. This one's kind of small, so I might have to uh, unloop this one. Y'all, this is very easy. I know I'm very dry right now, but my voice is just trash. Okay, here we go. And this is quick too. It shouldn't take that long. All right, once you get over the first little, um, the opening, it gets easier from there. I hope this is informative. <laughs> I'm not really good at explaining stuff, but I try my best. You see, I just keep, um, I just keep putting it through like this. This is the bobby pin. And then I pull the, the, um, the shirt. Not the string, but the shirt. Like 
that. Let me show you again. Okay, this is the bobby pin. It looks bent, but it's not. This is the bobby pin. And then you put it through. And then you grab the shirt, not the string. Oh, okay, the shirt, not the string. And you pull like this. And keep going till you go all the way to the other side. And I'm wearing a shirt today, that's why I decided to film it today. So I finished going all the way around. Let me uh, grab this first. Let me stretch it out. I'm gonna show you a before and after. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all what I don't like. This is cute sometimes, but I don't really like how this flares, you see? It just, it's not right for me. I just don't like it. It's like big, let me get right here. Like I don't like that moving and all this stuff. And I usually go like this when it comes to pants cause I don't like them moving on my butt. I just don't like that feeling. So basically what the string does, it draws strings in, like it brings it in. And me, for the little booties out there, <laughs> for the little petite booties out there, it kind of cups it almost. But basically, I should have got a black string, but I didn't have black tennis shoes that I didn't wear. Anyway, you can tuck the string in if you want. I don't really like tucking it in because I kind of like the look of the string right there. But it cups it at the bottom, so it wasn't moved that much. So yeah, you can wear shorts under here. Don't mind my ashy knees. You can wear shorts. Like this is better. Ooh, I got bad knees, y'all. Like this is much better than the flare, you know? <sighs> That's pretty much it. Like, And if your boyfriend give you a t-shirt or something or your daddy or a man or if you like boy clothes like me because this is a boy shirt so is this if they give you the clothes and it's too big you can just draw a string it and it'll be cute you know what i'm saying y'all i'm the girliest tomboy you'll ever meet <laughs> like i love makeup and you know glitz and stuff but i also like boy clothes and like basketball or like you know i i'm not girly but i'm girly if that makes sense let me sit down Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up. <laughs> Excuse my voice once again. I hope you guys liked it. Um, and if you do it and you've seen it off my channel, make sure you tag me so I can get my props, you know? Because like, I want people to know that it was kind of my idea, if that makes sense. If anybody else did it, you can tell me, but as far as I know, I thought of this with my own head. Why well, am I out of breath? Whew. But um. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.